In this desert shelter, a Syrian family is watching television in comfort, thanks to this large fan. A few meters away, the street seller has cold drinks and ice creams at his stall. Refugees in the Azraq camp in Jordan have had access to abundant electricity for the past few days. On the 17th of May, a solar panel park was installed here. Uh, it means the world to refugees that obviously are here in the camp that didn't have access to electricity in a dependable way. It means uh, lighting for safety, for protection at night, uh, for some cool in terms of a fan on a hot summer's day or some heat in the winter during the cold months. Several hundred solar panels provide electricity almost everywhere across the camp. Their energy capacity is 2,000 kilowatts, able to give enough power to over half the 35,000 refugees who live here. Lots of things have changed. First of all, my children can study properly now they have light. It's been really hot, but now we have a fan. We've also got a refrigerator, so we have cold water and a place to keep our food. And we have a washing machine. Before, my wife was washing things by hand, but it was hard for her. Now it's a lot easier. In one year, this solar park should save the camp close to a million and a half dollars and lower CO2 emissions by more than 2,000 tons. The operation is due to cost around nine million dollars, fully funded by the IKEA Foundation. The money came from a fundraiser in 2014 and 2015 that saw the company give one euro of every sale from a light bulb to the United Nations Refugee Agency. The initiative ended up bringing in more than 30 million dollars.